Wetlands Soggy Habitat by Laura Purdy Salas. All right, so we are going to continue learning about wetlands and what they're like and why they're important this week. So we are going to go on and read this book and see what else we can learn. What is a wetland? What do you call an area of land that is covered with water? A wetland, of course. A wetland is a soggy ecosystem. An ecosystem is all of the living and non-living things in a certain area. It includes plants, animals, water, soil, weather, everything. All wetlands have three main things in common. They have water at least part of the year, their soil is very wet, and they're filled with water-loving plants. Marshes, swamps, and bogs are three common types of wetlands. Each has its own kinds of plants. Grasses and cattails grow in marshes. This is a marsh right here. Shrubs and trees live in swamps. You see the swamp here. Mosses and evergreen plants grow in bogs. Bogs are made of thick layers of peat. Peat is a spongy soil made of dead plants. Wetlands have important jobs to do. They give animals a place to live and raise their young. Wetlands near seashores reduce storm damage by absorbing the force of strong waves. They also stop erosion. Erosion happens when waves hit the shore and wash away the soil. The roots of wetland plants hold the soil in place. Other wetlands prevent floods. The ground of a wetland acts like a big sponge. The ground dries out when there's no rain. It soaks up water when there is a lot of rain. Fun fact, fish and other sea animals lay eggs in coastal wetlands. The wetlands are safer than the rough open seas. The wetland water has all the food the babies need. Wetlands are also good cleaners. Water entering a wetland might have dirt and pollution in it. The water slows down as it flows through the wetland. Little pieces of dirt settle down to the ground. The water that exits the wetland is cleaner than the water that entered. Fun fact, farmers often use extra water from nearby wetlands. The water, they water their crops with it or give it to their animals to drink. Because wetlands are such good cleaners, farmers know the water is safe. Soggy wetland soil doesn't have enough oxygen for some plants. Green ash trees, alligator weeds, and other plants have hollow stems or roots. The plants use these stems and roots like straws to suck in more oxygen. Some wetland soil doesn't have the food plants need. Plants have to get food other ways. Some plants catch insects. Others don't even root in the soil. Duckweed soaks up food right from the water. Fun fact, bald cypress trees have knobs that stick out of the water near the bottom of the tree. These knobs called knees help the tree live because there's not enough oxygen in the muddy soil, the knees absorb oxygen from the air. Did you know that some trees have knees? That is funny. <clears throat> the wetlands are just the right home for some plants. Two common wetland plants are called cattails and water lilies. These are cattails right here. Cattails grow on sturdy stems at the water's edge. 
their waving brown seed heads look like cat's tails. And these are water lilies here. Water lilies float on the water with their large flat leaves. Their long roots reach into the soil below. Their stems bend and stretch, so the water lilies always float. Fun fact, throughout history, people have used cattails in many ways. They have eaten the roots, woven mats and furniture with the leaves, and padded bedding with the fluff from the seed heads. That's a useful plant, huh? Flamingos, egrets, and many types of ducks live in wetlands all year. They find plenty of fish and other food in this wet ecosystem. Sandhill cranes and other birds rest or nest in wetlands while they're migrating. More than half of the birds in the United States live at least part of the year in wetlands. Fun fact, egrets, cranes, and herons are all wading birds. Wading birds have long skinny legs. Do you see like this and this? That's a flamingo. They wade in the shallow water and look for food. They also have sharp, strong bills. See that right there? To help catch fish and other small animals. Birds are not the only wetland animals. Wetlands offer food and homes to many other creatures. Alligators, turtles, snakes, and other reptiles live in wetlands. Mammals such as beavers, rabbits, otters, and deer also live there. So do mosquitoes and other insects. The still water in many wetlands makes a good hatching place for mosquito eggs. Like all ecosystems, wetlands change over time. More or less rain can, or snow can make wetlands come and go. People can also make wetlands disappear too quickly. All over the world, people drain water out of wetlands and build houses and farms on the land. If wetlands disappear, many plants and animals will die. Floods and erosions will happen more often. The water we use for drinking, cooking, and bathing won't be as clean. It's important to protect wetland ecosystem and all other Earth's ecosystems too. Each of them makes this planet an amazing place to live. All right, my friends, so now you have a wetlands experiment to go do. Have fun with that and have a great day.